What is going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to learn how to create really nice looking progress heads up displays, otherwise known as HUDs, in your app using a third party library that I particularly really use myself. So before we jump into things, drop a like down below, hit subscribe if you're new here, open up Xcode, and let's jump into things. So we can use this in both Swift UI and UI Kit, though I'm going to do this in UI Kit today since it's a little bit more verbose and a better explanation uh, example. So we are going to say cool HUDs as the project name. We'll stick with storyboard in Swift. I'll continue, toss it onto my desktop here. And the first thing we actually want to do is bring in the package, which I've got opened up here. Um, it has some imagery, obviously, of some really nice looking animations here. And we are going to do a couple examples to see what else you can do with this, because it is pretty nifty. So we'll copy the URL and bring it in via SPM. So I'm going to hit add package here. We'll go ahead and paste that URL in. There it is, JG Progress HUD. I believe JG are the initials of the author whose name escapes me at the moment. But we'll go ahead and bring this guy in and we're in our view controller here. Let's go ahead and just import and give this a build and run in a simulator. Make sure that we are in fact compiling. So cool. We are in fact compiling. There's our app simulator opened up rather quickly today. So let's create a, a single function here and we're going to say test or let's do show example. And this is what we're going to call in view to load after perhaps a one second delay. So I am going to say async after now plus one. And then here we are just going to say self dot show example. And inside of here, let's go ahead and actually start playing with this heads up display. So as you can see here, you can obviously show an indefinite spinner like this. And there's a variety of cases where you would want to do this if you're loading something. Um, sometimes you want to also disable the touches in the background. We can also do that here. We can show a determinant spinner. So let's say you're downloading something and you know 100% uh, or like 50% what the progress is. And then you can also show states like success or an error, which uh, Apple themselves does in a lot of cases. And they look really nice. So let's get through the fundamentals. So to create this, it's a JG progress HUD. You can create it with a style or without one. So I'm just going to create it without one. And it's pretty simple to actually just show it. We can just simply say HUD show in view, and we can say uh, this will be self.view, otherwise view, and we can provide animated or not. I'm just gonna omit it, and we can also specify a delay. Let's go ahead and run this and see what we actually get if it decides to show up. So it in fact does, pretty simple. It actually has a nice, uh, very uh, opaque uh, view to it where you can actually see in dark mode a little better. Um, but we can actually obviously take this a few steps further. So let's go ahead and add some labels to this. We have a text label on here. I can go ahead and say loading. And then I can also specify a detail label and say, please wait. Go ahead and give that a run. And you will see our labels here accordingly. We can customize the color, the corner radius. But let's get into the thing that I think is particularly interesting. And that is the indicator view here. You can specify from a number. Uh, indicator view here. So there is a success view, there are error views, there's quite a few. So let's do the success views just so we can see what that looks like. So you'll see here this will show up and you can actually change this to simply be success and this is how I would actually use this and have used this. So we can say here HUD and we can say dismiss after a particular delay. Maybe show it for three seconds and then you know, dismiss. So for example, in your app, if you have something like an in-app purchase or something, the user created their accounts, what's really nice to do is use haptics to play a nice little vibration and then show that little check mark just long enough so the person knows that something succeeded. Now, of course, respectively, on the flip side, we do have error cases. And we can go ahead and say error here. And in this case, what we're going to do is we're going to say head, uh, heads up display, text label. I'm going to set the text color on here. We'll make this red. And we can also say off of this, there is a, a HUD view. We can set the background color to, let's do system pink. And also going to say change the corner radius on this. We'll go ahead and make this 50, which I believe will give us a circle. So if we come here and take a look at this, we get the nice error. It's actually a squished circle, but you get the point. And let me show you the last one here. And this is the one that I think is by far the coolest one for obvious reasons that you'll know in a second. 
So let's get rid of the dismiss call and the color changes. Here we are going to say the label is downloading. And then we are going to say the detail label, its text is going to be a percentage. So we'll start off as 0%. Now there are two variants of what I'm about to show. The first one is a ring, and then I think there's also a pie indicator, which you can fill in based on progress. So what I'm going to do is we are going to say that progress, which will be a float, starts off at 0.0. .0. And we're going to schedule a timer and this timer will basically repeat with a block. So here we are going to say repeat every 0.1 seconds. Repeat is true and the block has a timer that goes in to the closure. And what I'll do here is I'll simply just increment the progress by 0.1. And we can say heads up display set progress and we can say here progress animated true should be good and we want to eventually stop the timer so what i'm going to say is if the progress is greater than 1.0 we can go ahead and say timer dot invalidate and one other thing that we probably want to go ahead and do here is uh, calculate a percentage and show it in that detail label that we've got on this heads up display so i can actually go ahead and here say that the text will be a value and then percentage and this value let's see if i remember how to do math is going to be uh, 1.0 divided by our progress hopefully that is not backwards we'll see in a second so if i go ahead and give this a run you'll see that this will start filling in and i think i did this backwards um, i actually wanted to multiply it by 100 to get the actual value but let's see what happens if i do it this way we still need, I believe, multiply it by a hundred. So here we do eventually get to 1.0, beautiful. And here we can say, make this an integer and multiply this by a hundred dot O. So we get a nice full number and no decimals. And here obviously we'll get to a hundred percent. And once you're actually done, the cool thing about this is you can say uh, HUD, change the indicator view to a progress success indicator view. And you can say HUD, Detail text label dot text will now be nil. HUD dot text label text will now be done. And then you can say HUD dismiss after a delay. And maybe we'll say three seconds. Go ahead and give that a build and run. And let's see what we get. So it looks like the done pops up a little quickly. Um, so you might want to add a slight delay there, but I digress. This framework is super cool to drop into your UI kit and Swift UI projects. So you get a really cool uh, determinant, indeterminate spinner, as well as the success and error. And the last thing I'll actually mention, since I don't really use it myself, but there is a way where you can specify a custom image indicator view. So you can say, uh, show this, and let's say we want to show this with uh, a image. We can use uh, SF symbols. So we'll say system name, I think bell is one of them and it looks like this needs to be unwrapped so i will force force it with a uh, force unwrap right there and let me just get rid of all this progress stuff down here and we can say show in view which is already there text label we'll say notifications enabled this is a good example actually and we'll go ahead here and we should see that appear with our bell and the other cool thing that actually you'll notice here is um, you'll never have issues with the text or image or sizing or any of that getting cut off and uh, being outside of the frame. Everything is auto layout here by default, portrait, landscape, iPad, iPhone, different size classes, all that good stuff. So it really is a drop-in uh, framework that you can use. And the actual last thing, even though I've said that five times, that I'll touch on here is if we scroll all the way down in this readme, you will in fact see a Swift UI example. I could have swore I saw it somewhere here. So you can in see, indeed see it here. It's JG Progress HUD dash Swift UI. It is actually a different framework, but you can achieve the exact same thing. The example here, what you'll notice is, and I thought this was a little verbose, you need to uh, bring in a environment variable for the uh, HUD coordinator, and then you need to wrap your entire thing uh, either in this coordinator, show HUD call, which seems a little imperative, uh, and then in your actual body, you need to wrap your entire view in a HUD presenter. So 
you you do need this to be the outermost view, which is why I personally didn't think it was the best setup, but I did want to at least call that out since I know a lot of you guys are developing with SwiftUI. So that is all I've got for you guys today. Appreciate you watching as always. Leave a comment down below. Let me know if you ever used a framework like this. There's some other ones out there as well. Do you write your own? What do you do for spinners, etc., etc.? Almost at 80K subscribers, so appreciate if you subscribe. I think something like 75% of y'all watch but don't subscribe, so that would mean a lot. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you in the next one.